Unpacking abstract nouns and putting the participants back into the process. We're unpacking abstract nouns and putting the participants back into the process of globalization. That's a rabbit hole because there's no universally agreed definition of globalization. Economists use it to talk about an acceleration in the integration of economic systems through trade and investment, driven by declining costs of doing business across space. It's a process that's been around for centuries, but clearly accelerates after World War II, with increasing engagement between European and American nations with Japan. But that engagement soon spreads via the land bridge to Korea and into China in search of new markets and ways of doing business cheaper. So globalization is not a thing, it's a process, and we can unpack that process by putting the participants back into the process, by asking who's doing what and how those participants affect each other through chains of cause and effect, like the effect of the relocation and the integration of production to reduce the cost of production, especially labor, like your Apple iPhone, designed in California, assembled in China, but assembled from parts possibly sourced from Thailand, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, the Philippines, and the Czech Republic. Or your Samsung phone that's produced in a house, but that house keeps moving from Korea to China to Vietnam to India. And that relocation, of course, has effects on the national economic systems involved in production, but it also means changes in distributions and commodities and capital and even labor are also moving. And subsequent growth in those new locations means new markets for people with money to spend, which equals demand. So globalization is a process in which with an increasing number of participants, producers, consumers, investors, national economic systems and global markets, trade routes and supply chains. A globalization is a process that's accelerating, it's going faster because it's getting cheaper. And it's getting cheaper because of factors like technology, rapid improvements in international transport and communication and the lowering of barriers to trade and investment negotiated through free trade agreements between sovereign nations. And whether you think globalization is a good thing or a bad thing, it's true that it's a process made up of participants affecting each other through chains of cause and effect. So we're just unpacking abstract nouns and putting the participants back into the process. Unpacking abstract nouns and putting the participants back into the process.